Oh no, I have sunk into quicksand. How am I going to get out? The canyon country of the Colorado Plateau is a place of secrets and hidden gems. Despite being a desert, this is a world shaped by water. Few features in this landscape are as much a testament to the power of water than slot canyons. Their defining characteristic is being taller than they are wide, and some take this to an extreme. With sheer cliff walls dozens of meters high, but the crack between is so thin a person can only just slip through. They are naturally quite rare, only forming where the geology and hydrology is just right. Conditions must generally be rather dry, punctuated only by brief periods of heavy rainfall that the dry soils have trouble absorbing, resulting in rushing torrents known as flash floods, which despite the high volume of water, are over in a matter of hours. It is the power of these events combined with natural weak points in the rock that allow water to cut deep and form these narrow canyons. Sometimes, high up in the slot, large chunks of wood show how high the water gets during a flash flood and illustrates the devastating power of these flooding events. Recent rain can leave some slots flooded for days afterwards, and in the shade along the edges of a canyon wall, or better yet in an overhang, conditions are perfect for the formation of quicksand. In a previous video on this channel, I explored some of the science and physics involved in the formation of quicksand, which I highly recommend watching after this video. But to quickly paraphrase, quicksand is a fascinating non-Newtonian fluid that can be formed when high water tables causes sand to become super saturated and to be configured in a lattice-like structure, which when pressure is applied, collapses and the water separates out of the sand, causing it to become incredibly dense. This compacted sand is very heavy, and the only way to escape is to reintroduce water into the sand. To do this by directly pulling out takes a lot of force. In this case, where my feet have just sunk into the quicksand, the force required to just pull them out is around the same amount of force needed to lift a medium-sized car. Trying my best to just try pulling my feet out, I found it was incredibly difficult. A common error is equating quicksand with mud, which it is not. Here, I am walking in mud, which, despite a similar depth to the quicksand, I can easily pick up my feet and move through it. Mud is a mixture of water and generally smaller particles than sand, like clay, soil, or silt, which does not collapse like quicksand, instead moving out of the way and holding its shape, unlike quicksand which refills after being stepped in. The good news is, is that the human body is buoyant in quicksand and so cannot completely sink below the surface. However, due to the formation of highly dense sand after stepping into the stuff, people can get stuck. In the winter of 2019, a hiker on the way to the Subway Slot Canyon got a leg stuck in the quicksand and was unable to escape, trapping them for hours in freezing conditions illustrating that it is other environmental conditions that are what makes being trapped in quicksand so dangerous. So how does one escape quicksand? Well first, it is best to just not get stuck in quicksand in the first place, and so you need to know how to recognize it. Near an actual bed of deeper quicksand, you will find waterlogged sands that will appear to dry when you apply pressure to them. These sands also have a distinctive spongy feel. The quicksand itself often has a shimmering surface, with the surface of the water table being about the same height as the sand bed. But okay, you ignored these signs and find yourself sinking into quicksand. How do you get out? In this case, what you need to do is reintroduce water into the dense sand around the trapped appendage. This is best achieved by slow, deliberate movements back and forth as faster movements are more likely to cause further sinking, and in testing how to get unstuck from quicksand, I found that faster, more panicked movements made it trickier to get my foot out. In really deep quagmires, where the actual quicksand is deeper than a person, 
The best technique is to try and get on your back and float on the quicksand surface. Your goal is to get out of the quicksand area. I would probably recommend going back out the way you came because you know roughly where the quicksand stops and terra firma begins. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I highly recommend watching my video going more into the science of quicksand. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for future content. On this channel, my goal is to create quality short documentaries that educate viewers on the natural world and hopefully inspire outdoor exploration and conservation action.